Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Corner with Jules, the first episode of our spinoff from our normal Greybeards Jewel series. Here I hope to be able to share my favorite hobby with you guys, crochet. Today we're going to learn two of the basic stitches and we'll even have a finished project. A nice little coaster to use for your drinks. The first thing we need to do is cover our supplies. We have scissors, a yarn needle, which you can see has a large eye, and a blunt end, a crochet hook. Here we have a size H or five millimeter and our yarn. This is size four worsted weight acrylic yarn. You can use either cotton or acrylic when making a coaster. The acrylic will kind of bead up the moisture from your beverage glass and the cotton will absorb it. So something to keep in mind when choosing your type of yarn. To start, we need to make a slip knot, make a little loop with the short end over the long end, flip it onto the long end and pull it up through, pulling your short end to tighten. To make sure you're on the right track when learning, give it a tug and if it disappears, you've done it correctly. So again, short end, up over the long end, flip the loop over the long end, and pull it up through. Insert your hook into the loop and pull the long end to tighten. Next, you'll need to learn to control your tension, which definitely becomes easier with practice. I struggled with this when I first started. So, I mean, don't worry about it if you have a hard time figuring out what works for you. I'd like to apologize for my voice. I'm coming off of a yucky cold and I'm kind of still got the scratchy throat and I will do my best not to cough. I got some cough drops and some hot tea, so we'll do our best. The way I learned to control my tension is to wrap the yarn around my pinky, across the palm of my hand, and around my first finger. So around the pinky, across the palm, and around the first finger. And I hold the short end between my thumb and middle finger. Now to start, we'll need to do chain stitches. We're going to do 15 chains for this project. To do this, you will wrap your yarn around and pull through your loop. Wrap your yarn around and pull through your loop. Now, as you're starting, if you find your thing, uh, your loop is too tight, and you can't get your hook through there, just pull up on your hook a little bit and that will loosen your loop. To make it a little snugger again, give a pull on the long end with your tension. So you can see it makes a nice little V or braid shape and that's exactly what you want. You also want to kind of, as you're going along, you'll move your thumb and middle finger up your work and that'll help you control it and keep it all going the right direction. And we're gonna want our 15 stitches. So let's see, we've got three here. So let's finish off these last few. So 
So now we have our 15 stitches. Now we will begin our first row of single crochet. There's a couple ways that you can work the front, the first row of your crochet. One is coming through the top of your V, right, like that. Another is to flip this over and go through the back. That's something we'll save for a little bit later. And today we'll go with a little bit easier way and just go through the top of the V. Now when doing single crochet, you're going to want to skip the first chain closest to your hoop, loop, hook, whatever. <laughs> and then we're going to insert our hook right under there wrap your yarn around, pull through, and now you've pulled a loop up on your hook. And we have two. Wrap and pull through both of them. Insert in the top of the V, wrap, pull through, and pull through both. Now, you can also use your fingers to kind of hold on to this to keep it out of your way. Insert, wrap, pull through, go through both of them. We're going to do this all the way down, and at the end, we'll have 14 stitches because we skipped our first stitch when we started this row. Excuse me, I apologize. If I miss a step that you are looking for, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to help anybody and everybody out if you need it. The best way to get comfortable with a new stitch is repetition. That's why we're going to make our little coaster because you'll get some repetition. Now that we've got our last stitch, let's give it a quick count to make sure we've got 14. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're good. Now when you go to start your second row, you need to do a transition stitch. So we're going to do one chain. Then we turn the work so that being right-handed, you'll always work from right to left. Now, on this row, we're going to insert it under both parts of the V. And you're going to skip that first chain you did. Go under first both parts of your V, of your first cro single crochet below. Wrap it, come through and finish your single crochet. Wrap it. Oops, we don't wrap it yet. Insert, wrap, come through. And we're going to work all the way down to the end again. Make sure you keep 
a stitch count when you finish the row or as you go to make sure your project stays a nice uniform size. Um, you definitely won't get a square if you, uh, oops, see I didn't come through both of them. So I just need to finish it, come through that second loop. Um, to keep it nice and square, you want to make sure, oops, you want to make sure that you um, always have your right number of stitches when you finish your row. So um, we're going to do 14 rows. And you can add a row or take a row away if you want it to have a little bit of a different appearance whatever works for you it's very flexible do our chain and flip skip the chain and start in that first stitch and now through the magic of television we'll have our finished product All right, now here is we're at our last stitch. We insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Now to finish off your work, you're going to yarn over, kind of make your chain stitch Cut the end of your string, but you want to leave a good five, six inches. You can always cut more off, but you can't add more. Now, to finish it, you just pull your yarn or your hook straight through. Give it a little tug to secure it. Now, we have our crochet coaster, but we need to get rid of these ends here. So you'll take your yarn needle, insert your end, and then you're going to Kind of bury the tail. You can decide where you'd like to insert it. I always try to um, kind of bury it in the stitches so you don't see it. You can also kind of work along with your um, stitches you've got going it might not look you know quite as nice so I usually just kind of run it along a few stitches you can see when you kind of give it that little <laughs> that little tug it kind of disappears in there And then cut your yarn off nice and secure not coming out and we'll do the same on the other end sorry I know that first one was kind of all over the place 
try to show you a little better here. <coughs> Excuse me. Insert your yarn into your needle. And just weave your needle through. You're not going to poke yourself since this has a blunt end. I kind of like to, if you see, you kind of can't see the needle between the stitches. I'm in the middle of the stitches. So that works great. I like to pull through there. You don't want to make it too tight or else you'll, you know, eh, that don't look real pretty. So we'll loosen that back up. Now, I like to kind of double back over it to hold it a little more securely. And I want to go over this first stitch here and start back a little bit and now you're kind of doubly snug and we'll cut our end and here is your coaster now you can do what is called blocking if you choose you basically dampen your thread with just water and lay it out nice and flat and let it dry how you like it. So here you have it, our little crochet coaster. So if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave a comment below. I'd love to see your finished project. You can email us pictures at graybeardsjewels at gmail.com. That's G-R-E-Y-B-E-A-R-D-S-J-E-W-E-L-S at J at J mail at gmail.com. And again, please bear with me. This is a whole new format coming off the cold. Hopefully these will get better, um, a little smoother, and we'll grow this into something beautiful. So for now, enjoy your stitching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Bye!